So it took me about eight months to go from zero to 10K a month with copywriting. And along the way, I made some pretty big mistakes that stunted in my growth and held me back from actually reaching that progress even faster. And that's why in this video, I wanna share with you exactly what I would do if I had to start all over again so that you can get from zero to 10K even quicker. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna be giving you the three actionable steps that you can take today so that you can get on your journey from zero to 10K a month with copywriting as fast as possible. So if I were to start over and become a completely beginner copywriter, here's what I would do differently. So number one is I would stop being so impatient and asking, when should I get a client? You, how long does it usually take until people get clients? I haven't gotten a client in three months yet. Is that, is that regular? You see all of this wondering and worrying about when I'll get a client or when I'll make enough money. You see all that impatience actually ironically held me back from making more progress quicker in my copywriting journey. And despite me making a whole long form video about it on my YouTube channel, this is the most common question I get asked. And you know, I get it. It's not like I don't understand the sentiment, but picture it like this. It's a lot like going to the gym and asking your trainer, yo, when am I gonna get a six pack? When am I gonna look swole? When am I gonna look like Bradley Martin? When am I gonna look like Joey Swole? When am I gonna look like Tyson 4D? And look, it's not like I'm saying that you shouldn't have financial goals, but the thing is that the more you rush it, the more undue stress that you're putting on yourself. Now, one thing that really helped me with this one particular point is learning a lot about stoicism and understanding the things that you can control and controlling them and understanding the things that you can't control and just getting over them. One thing that helped me on my copywriting journey and really helped me overcome my impatience was this one quote, and it goes like this. A wise man endures his pain. And he accepts it but he never adds to it. And you sitting there worried about when you're gonna make money is just adding to your pain and adding to your stress and adding a whole lot of undue friction into your life when you could just do the work, complete the tasks that you need to do in order to get the clients and whenever the clients come, they come. So remember guys, Rome wasn't built in a day and you can achieve your goals, but your goals aren't gonna work on your schedule. So just keep showing up, putting in the work, and you'll get rewarded eventually. And the next big thing that I would do differently if I started was to actually work on improving my outreach rather than just trying to do more outreach. And this one is absolutely huge. You see, I didn't quite understand that outreach is a lot like a lottery ticket when you first start out. When you don't have the basic principles figured out, like where should I go to find prospects, what kind of outreach should I do? How often should I do follow up and what should my follow up look like? Your chances of actually getting a copywriting client is pretty much one in a million. So then what most people do is they accept their one in a million odds and just think, okay, well, all I gotta do is a million outreaches. But on the other hand, once you get clear on your prospecting, your outreach and your follow up, now all of a sudden your chances aren't a one in a million, they're more like one in 500. And this is how you go about repeatedly getting two clients a week and ending up increasing your income and finally hitting at 10K a month. And the reason that I know this is because not only have I done it, but a lot of people in the Copy Client Accelerator program have done it as well. We have dudes in there 14 years old, 15 years old, 16 years old, making over four figures a month with copywriting. And I'll just be straight up honest, bro, it's a little bit embarrassing, right? They're making me look bad. Back when I was 14, 15, 16, bro, I was playing Call of Duty. I was, you think I was making money online? This stuff is nuts. I wasn't making nearly as much money as them until my early 20s, right? So these guys are making extremely quick progress and it's not has nothing to do with their IQ has nothing to do with their previous experience, but these are just young guys, they learned the game, and they're implementing, and they're working really hard, and that's all they did, that's all they did, and they're making crazy progress faster than a lot of people, especially when they were 14, 15, and 16. Now the next big thing I would do differently if I were to start all the way over is I would focus more on developing my copywriting skill. Now because of the last two things I would change, which would be my outreach and me being impatient, it led to me really neglecting my copywriting skill. And as it turns out, one of the most important parts of being a copywriter is your copywriting. To be more specific, this particular mistake cost me around 2K a month. You see, I got my first big break, my first big retainer client, and they wanted to do a one month trial period with me for eight emails a month at $2,000 every month. And needless to say, I was pretty stoked, okay? I was pretty stoked. I had never had a deal like this before, so I put all of my time and effort 
into these emails. And what ended up happening was the emails turned out to be not very good. I handed in the emails, they didn't perform like they should have. Um, the people who I handed them into, the marketing team, they had to fix them up and change some stuff. Why? Because I just wasn't there copywriting wise yet. Skill wise, I just, I didn't have the skills to pay the bills. It really just came down to that. And needless to say, because of my lack of skills, I missed out on that one client and it basically costs me months of freedom because then I had to stay at my nine to five job longer than I otherwise would have needed to if I got that deal. And just because of that one mistake, I probably turned off some prospects from wanting to be my clients in the future as well. So guys, if you're on your copywriting journey and you're going from zero to 10K a month, do not neglect your copywriting skills. Now the fourth big thing that I would change if I went back to zero dollars a month with copywriting is that I would focus more on creating connections with other people in the copywriting community. Guys, I remember starting my copywriting journey inside of Andrew Tate's Hustlers University 2. And for whatever reason, I got on a call with some dude that I had met there. He talked a little bit about copywriting and I went through some sales call practice with him because I had a sales call coming up. And to make a long story short, we basically ended up hitting it off. We became really good friends and we called pretty much on a daily basis to discuss things like copywriting, outreach, and sales. You see, on this journey, it can be really lonely. You have to make a lot of sacrifices. You can't go out with your friends like you used to and you can't just do a lot of things that would be more social. So by finding people online who are copywriters, who are on the exact same journey as you, not only are you talking way more about money and talking about your goals, talking about copywriting, which is gonna help you rewire your brain, but you're also satisfying that one social need that you have. And this is something that made me way more consistent and also way more competitive because there was also a healthy competition going on between me and him. So just knowing other people can really help you along the way in your copywriting journey. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I created the free copywriting Discord channel. It's not only full of resources to help you get better at copywriting, but it's also full of different types of chats that you can join and connect with other copywriters. Guys, if you wanna join, all you gotta do is go down in the description and click the link and you can join for free. So now that you know some of the biggest mistakes that I made that held me back, here are three actionable steps that you can do today to help you make progress faster in your copywriting journey. Number one, create better outreach by going into the description and downloading the free outreach playbook that's gonna help you get copywriting clients because it's all of the best outreach method. Yes, I am really hooking it up, but don't worry, we are not done yet. Number two, what you're going to want to do is go head over to the free Discord server, guys. Make sure you join and of course introduce yourself to the rest of the community. And number three, what you're gonna wanna do is click on that video on screen right now. And if you haven't already, you know what? Even if you have already watched the video, go ahead and refresh yourself. Go watch the free copywriting course on my YouTube channel. And guys, that is it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.